Good morning, Lana Scott Lighthouse. So guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for all your likes, subscribe, and shares. And I am, um, you know, I've been just pulling cards and runes just to see where we're going. But this morning I decided to um, <clears throat> pull a card from the Enchanted Map deck to see what energy some of you who have already know what your gifts are, you're already on your path, to see what you might run into. I thought maybe it would be more helpful if I asked a few specific questions for a couple of days, asking, you know, just pulling a card, seeing what the angels and the ancestors, my spirit guides, your spirit guides are telling us, what kind of energies you may be running into, and maybe giving you some ways to deal with some of that. So this morning, I shoveled the cards, I asked, what kind of energies are um, could some of the people already on their path be running into? And they gave me compass. And I actually looked it up and read it because I, I do get other messages from this card. It's one of my favorite cards in this deck. But what this card is about on the surface is about uncharted territories. So some of you may be, it also talks about letting your um, your higher power, your higher self, um, lead you where you're going. And as long as you let it guide you and lead you, you know, you'll always be able to figure out what's going on. But for some of you in the beginning stages, you may be in uncharted territory is what it's talking about. So I um, decided to look at it as, okay, so we have energy, the energy of, um, for the present time of uncharted territory, which is where some of you may be finding yourself. Like your gifts have come in, you're seeing signs and synchronicities, you're seeing energies, you're, you're meeting other people with that spark. And you are um, looking around at things and going, well, what do I do now? What's going on? So it is talking about listening to your your higher power, listening to your what some people call the oversoul, or you know, and maybe you're finding some things that you're not really sure how to deal with them, or you know, it's just it's just the unknown. So I decided to pull the runes, and guys, I got a four 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 message with some sub messages, and then uh, some more messages at the bottom, which I'll explain to y'all. So the first two rows here, what we have. That's having to do with the uncharted territory is you've had the transformation and breakthrough and you're now in the process of building up your foundation okay and some new things may be coming in like a new job new people uh, maybe you're learning some new things you're again you're building you're going from the microchism to the macrochism you've maybe made some new friends some um uh, you may be getting some new information from your, your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors. Some of you are maybe healing some old wounds, healing some things, but you've, you've got overall more strength here, which has given you relief from that. And now you're like standing here and you're like waiting to see, you know, what's coming next. So for, so that to me is talking about is going right along with the uncharted territory of going, well, what go, what, what's, you know, what's next? So then what we have is we have, you're definitely, you know, on your journey and getting some movement forward as a spiritual warrior. And you have come from, through the microchism. You have come through the, the new beginning. Okay. You're on the other side of that. And you're just kind of like waiting. You do have flow. Okay. But, it, and for this, um, I messed them up. Hang on a minute, guys. Because you've come through Ing and you're on the other side, okay? And you've got flow now, but you're, you're still standing here trying to figure out what it is, okay? Because Iwas is the defense room. Now, we've got reversed um, Berkham. We've got a closing, and you kind of standing still. So, this, again, is telling me about the uncharted territory. So, I then asked, well, what, uh, what else do they need to know? Because... You're kind of just waiting for the universe to open things up. So in the meantime, it's driving you nuts. You know what I'm saying? Guys, don't let it bother you, okay? Um, sorry, my phone was ringing. I had to turn it off. So we have wholeness, okay? And you do know what your journey, what your, what your, um, what your, um, I mean, you do know what your gifts are. There's nothing so much of a surprise anymore. You're really happy about that. But you are getting signals. You are getting messages and you're, you're, you've got, we've got rewards for your efforts, but we also have elemental disruption below that saying, you know, it's going to take some time and you, you're just going to have to do a waiting period. They're saying, okay, I hope that makes sense and resonates. Um, guys, you do have movement here though. So let's see what else they, that they're talking about right now. Um, 
Oh, and 444 four is that your angels and ancestors and um, uh, passed on loved ones, all, all of them, they have your back. They are definitely in the process of shuffling things around for to, you know, it's kind of like just a waiting period. And some of us don't do so good at waiting. So one of the things that they are telling me is take this time while you're waiting for more things to open up. Because you, you already you already figure you already kind of like know you know you know what your gifts are you know where you're wanting to go and the universe is still kind of in a you know waiting for or to bring you um, certain things while they're moving things around it also could be that some things are popping up that you're looking at it like well what do I do with this okay and let me see what else I'm seeing up here I'm also hearing something about doing some research more about your gifts. Um, doing um educating yourself about different things what else are they saying they're saying a lot of you are now on your path of destiny and you a lot of you are saying are also as you're moving because they're like they keep giving me the message that the universe is moving a lot of us around all right. And if y'all been listening to any of my messages for a while, I have had a lot of that about people waiting for their gifts to come in. Now their gifts are coming in. They're starting to see the, the so a lot of you are starting to see, like I recently put on my page about meeting someone that a spark kind of opened up and they told me, well, share some of yourself. So I put pictures of me and Daniel up there to give y'all an idea of how some things are working out. Now, some of these people that in places and things that you're going to run into that that feel like they resonate with you on your own journey as you go forward. OK, it's not necessarily going to be a romantic relationship, but I do feel like a lot of you are going to be running into other people with that spark. They're saying new organizations opening up. Guys, this is also sort of kind of like a, a candle meditation this morning. Um, let me see what else I want to tell y'all. That's just not popping up in the runes. They're saying new organizations for a lot of you. Um, on the uncharted territory, they're saying a lot of you are meeting people that might have gifts that you've never heard of or you, you've never dealt with, like the remote viewing, laying on of hands. <laughs> what else? telling me to pull some cards okay so in uncharted territories what else do, do y'all do, do other people spirit guys and angels want to tell them Uncharted territories. Okay. So balancing act. Wide open. Metamorphosis. Wishing well. The rest of us not speaking to me. Okay, guys. So they're saying some of you, while you're waiting for new stuff to come in, you might have to do a little bit of a balancing act of, in other words, trying to keep yourself balanced so that you're not feeling overwhelmed. They're saying things are going to trickle in more signs and synchronicities. This card's also talking about to me, you see how she's standing in place, but she's holding that string and she's trying to balance all this. Okay. It, this also feels like it's talking to me about having, um, like, like she's like looking into the future, waiting for everything to come in. And in the meantime, she's maybe doing some other things. She's, and they are talking to something about a timeline here, guys. Um, oh, so, so, um, La early this morning when I first got up, I was actually asking them what else did they want to talk about um, 
um, to, that they wanted to let y'all know about. And they were showing me a couple of mental pictures that I think is what they're trying to bring out in this card for me. They were showing me um, like a path and then all these different like a, like a, like, like, um, what do you call it? Um, Neptune's trine stick. You know, he's got the stick and then it goes off in several different ways. They're saying some of you may find that there are several different ways that you can go. Okay. And you're just going to have to, you know, you're on this path and you're going to have to wait for all these other opportunities to open up. And you will be the one who will be deciding which timeline, which path that as, as you as things get into play in the future that you will have more choices and opportunities than what you think you do so in the meantime they're saying just look for the signs and synchronicities listen to your your uh, spirit guides and angels and guys are also pointing out to me oh wow guys they're pointing out to me the line right here do you can you tell in this card how it's light and dark they're saying the veil is very thin and a lot is going on behind the scenes that you can't see Okay, so a lot of things going on behind the scenes. They are working really hard at putting different people, places, and things into place to make everything fall into place for you. And in the meantime, slow and steady wins the race on this timeline. So guys are saying, be patient while they get things behind the scenes, behind the veil, played out for you to be able to figure out from your own choices and decisions where you're going to go next. Okay, and there, guys... Then we have the next thing we have is we have wide open. And they're saying some of you are, are like I said, we're standing right here and you are waiting, standing there in front of the veil, waiting for all these things to come into place. Okay. And in the meantime, some of you, they're saying, see how this, oh, wow. Yeah. Hang on, guys. They're giving me a message. Um, okay. They're saying, see this butterfly with this carrying this star? They're saying, wait for us to bring it to you because then you're going to have a path and all these other opportunities open up that will give you more opportunities to decide where you want to go. Because they're saying, this is you standing in front of the veil and all these things, like this girl's on this rock looking, this is, on, I mean, I know she's dressed differently, but they're saying, she's standing here looking behind the veil. Now she's facing the veil. Okay. And you're going to have more metamorphosis going on more things going on see that again this maybe they're saying some things are changing behind the veil that are waiting to bloom at the right time in the right place okay so again that message is still kind of the same guys they're still saying it's a balancing act okay and they are trying to get things into place so you may be wishing to for it to hurry up but they're saying some things cannot be hurried Okay, guys, take that for how it resonates. Um, they're also pointing out the numbers to me. They're saying 8, 9, 10, 12. They're saying 2 plus 1 is 3. So this is waiting. That would make this a 3 card, they're saying. I know it's a 48, but they're saying the, that it added together it being 12 and then 2 plus 1 is a 3. They're saying, so that's kind of about where you are on the stage of waiting for everything to open up. And they're saying... They're working on it. They're saying these are your spirit guides and angels behind the veil. And they know you're wishing for things to go faster. But they're they're bringing it closer to you. But they're just still working on things behind the scenes. Okay. So guys are saying take a deep breath. Okay. They're saying maybe there's some other things you can do in the meantime that you can um, that you can be working on. Um they're saying some of you might need to be saving your money or getting certain tools in place. Um, they're also saying something about searching. So maybe some of you are deciding to open up a business that has to do with hands-on healing or finding a building for your for your business or finding a certain uh, what group feels right to you. Maybe you, um, you know, you've decided to do something in particular with your gifts, and now you're just waiting to get the money in to get the tools that you need, physical tools, guys, not the tools that you already have that are within you, okay? They're talking about physical tools. So they're saying while you're doing that and balancing everything, they are working behind the scenes for more openings and opportunities to come to you, okay? So... Hang on, I'm just moving the runes out of the way, guys. So they're just saying, take a deep breath. They're still putting things into place for you. Don't feel like you're lost or not on your path. 
That's where this haggle is. Is they're saying they're saying elemental disruption rewards for your efforts. So they're saying that things are still getting moved into place for a lot of you. They're also saying a lot of you have also already started traveling somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So they're telling me to look at this again. Okay. So let me look at this again, guys. So on this, um, on your own journey, movement, spiritual warrior, and um, flow. They're saying some of you already are moving things into place. All of you are on a different timeline or time schedule. I'm trying to understand exactly what they're um, saying to me. But they're saying to have patience. They're saying some of you are further along than others. But they are saying overall a lot of you are getting better at listening to the signs and synchronicities. A lot of you are for sure on your path of destiny. And you are firming up your foundation. Okay. Some of you they're saying are going it alone. Some of you are joining groups. Some of you are physically moving, they're saying. What else, guys? They're saying to take heart. It's coming. Have patience. Have patience, guys. It's coming, they're saying. So, um, let me see if I can't. I'm going to actually pull. Hang on a minute, guys. Let me see. I'm, want, I'm feeling like I need to pull. Um, that's people. Guys, let me pull a couple of the regular tar tarot and on the Major Arcana. Because there seems to be a message here for someone. Hang on, guys. See, so, you spirit guys, angels of other... Uh, the collective, do you have a message for a specific person? You're telling me to pull a card. Hang on, guys. There's a message for someone here. Guys, when somebody's spirit guy is like really close to me on the right-hand side of me. They were trying to whisper in my ear a minute ago. I could feel pressure in my ear, which means they're like very, very close. And they're waiting for me to shuffle these cards. Hang on, guys. There's a message here for someone. So somebody, uh, let me see. Let me, let me tell me to pull again. Let go. And Wheel of Fortune. Okay. There's somebody out there that you are working on a specific a specific thing. You have hope or a, a dream or a wish of something. Again, we got Wishing Well here too. They're saying someone of you is hoping for some more, uh, something to come to you. Uh, you're wishing for, maybe it's you're have, hoping for a certain, to get everything lined up for a certain business. And you might have some other people that are trying to interfere in some kind of way. But they're saying to have patience because things are changing for you and they do all have your back. I don't know who that's going to resonate for. They're saying some of you might be having some kind of mental blocks for yourself. And that is what's slowing down your progress. And that's why it doesn't seem like because you're focused too much on pulling it to you. You need to step back and let the universe work on it so that then it can come in for you. Guys, take that how that resonates. That's that's for somebody there. Let me shuffle again and see if I get anything else in here, guys. to a new life. Success is coming your way. Okay, so this is a message again they're saying for somebody else, guys. They're saying some of you are going to decide um, in some kind of way to that you already know what the open path is for yourself 
and your angels are telling you to whatever that instinct is that they're that you're wanting to go towards they're saying go towards that they're saying some of you already know what you want to do and they're just confirming this for you i don't know who this is for i just heard the name harold um there's also success here i just heard the name sheila um I don't know if, if, if your name is Harold or Sheila or you know someone named Harold or Sheila. So this is maybe for a couple of you or maybe someone else whose name starts with an H or an S. They are saying that you already know and they're saying this message generally overall is not for you. You already know where you're going. Guys, take that how that resonates. Who, If you already know where you're going and what you're doing, they're saying this message isn't for you. I've never gotten that one before, guys. So that's a newbie. Okay. So I'm going to pull these out of the way because I want to pull another couple of these cards and see what other messages I get because they're saying there's another message. So hang on just a minute, guys. Um, no. Yes. All right. One of these. And then they might want me to pull some people cards. Guys, hang on. This message is getting more expensive. Okay. What message do you want for uh, whoever this is for? Guys, somebody's spirit guide is standing right next to me. My, my ear isn't ringing, but it's vibrating, which is a little different. And I've been getting that here lately where they're standing next to me going, I have a message. I have a message. So, guys, hang on. There's still somebody else that's just wanting me to pull a couple more cards. Guys, I might do a session like that where I just pull cards and give messages to people because they are feel like they're pushing me that way right now. That they're saying, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, they are. They're telling me, uh, we're here really soon, they're going to have me to start posting cards and giving messages, maybe names to people. Like, I had a message for someone, um, one of my subscribers, Ella Chalice, there was a message for her that came through one time, because they were telling me Michigan, and, and, and she's like, yeah, that's for me. So, guys, we're going to probably have, guys, they're saying we're going to, we're going to, yeah, they're saying we're going to start doing that. Okay. Guys, I, I, I say I listen to my Rice Krispies. I call them my Rice Krispies sometimes. Guys, it's just a joke. I'm talking about my spirit guides and my angels. All right, they're saying you're almost there. The cards. Guys, I keep shuffling until they tell me to stop. Okay, they're saying cut. I'm getting, I'm getting, somebody's anxious to get a message out to somebody. Let me see. Okay. Okay. And guys, let me put this up out of the way. So I guess we're getting ready to do that. Details. Prayer. Okay. And spark. So for somebody, they're saying you're not paying attention to the details good enough. They're saying there is clarity. So somebody's just missing something or not looking at an aspect of a situation that they need to look at a little bit closer. Okay. Take that how it resonates. They're saying then you're going to get understanding. So somebody that's not understanding something or is not seeing something, they're saying to meditate, sit down, look at your whatever blueprint or whatever um, your situation is where you don't have, where you, you feel like you're missing something. They're saying you need to look at more, you need to think outside the box. Think outside the box. And when you do that, you're going to see it. Because you're asking, well, what is it I'm not seeing? They're saying, then you're going to have that spark of understanding. So for whoever that message is for, is there a name? They're, they're I'm hearing they're saying it's an S name. Sheila, Susie. Um, I'm not sure. All right. So they're saying someone that feels that feels like, well, this doesn't quite resonate. They're saying because you're missing something. They're pointing out all the little, they're pointing out all the little Guys are pointing out all the little things on here. They're saying there's so many details. They're saying condense it. You're being overwhelmed by the bigger things. You need to look at some of the smaller details. They're saying whatever situation is that you're looking at that you feel like you're not seeing something. They're saying take all the big parts of the equation out and then look at the details. Read the fine print. Maybe somebody's looking at a contract on a building for a business or some kind of contract for... A, a, an apartment or a house that they're buying or a building something where you have to sign a contract they're saying you're missing something in the details that is going to be a deal breaker for you and you need to pay more attention to that because they're saying that that, that they are trying to answer your prayer but you're 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 missing some part of the contract that's essential that you need to look at to open whew, 
that was like a ton of bricks, for it to open up for you to get in the right spot. They're saying it's location, location, location. It's in the details. It reminding me of a book that I read recently. Um, so guys, maybe you're not even, maybe if you are trying to start your own business and you're looking at something that you're wanting to buy, purchase or rent or something like that, there's something in the details that's not, it's not going to be the right thing for you. And you need to, it's something in the, in the contract is going to be a deal breaker. Okay. They're showing me a little building on a corner. If somebody's trying to thinking about renting a little building on a corner or a little apartment or something like that, they're saying that's the spot you either. They're saying the location of where you want to go is not going to be as conducive for whatever this business is that you're trying to start. And that there's another place that's a little bit bigger for less money. That if you go look at that, it's going to actually be closer to the type of people you want to attract to your business. Guys, take that how it resonates. But they say once you get that, it's going to bring a lot more business to your, or a lot more, a lot more what? It's just going to bring the kind of clientele that you're trying to bring. Um, they're pointing out the hearts on this. So maybe you're starting a dating service or something, or you're starting something to do with um, some kind of love business or something. Uh, they're just pointing out the hearts. They say you're headed in the right direction. There's just something in the details of one place that's not quite right. And when and if you keep doing some research, when you go and look at the details or another contract, it's going to be a, something better for you at a less price. And it's going to attract all the clientele that you want, the right clientele. It's maybe in another part of town, they're saying. Guys, take that how it resonates. So that's what I have for you all this morning. Um, and they're saying they would like me to do more of these for you guys because they're wanting to reach out more specific people. So, guys, that's what we're going to start doing, I guess. Um, this is um, Lana Scott Lighthouse. I hope this resonated for some of y'all. Um, guys, be a light in the darkness. I've been pointing out, or they've been telling me to point out a lot of things here lately. Always follow, follow your higher power because it's never going to lead you wrong. Okay, guys, uncharted territory. Some of you are maybe um, they're saying some of these some of these things that they've talked about. They said no, some of you have not. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're saying you haven't done before. Now that you're doing it, you, you there's more things you're going to have to pay attention to than what you thought. But you're also closer than what you thought. Guys, take that how it resonates. This is Lana Scott Lighthouse. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, subscribe and share and be a light in the darkness.